Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex Funk, and today I am going to talk about why you're not rich yet and some surprising things that are holding people back from becoming rich and wealthy. And I think number six, seven, eight, I think are going to surprise you a ton. So here we go. All right, the number one reason that you are not rich yet, okay, or the number one reason that prevents people from becoming rich is because they have not defined what that means, okay? This is my number one success principle, no matter what the field is or industry or pursuit, you must define success before you can pursue it. Because if you're saying, oh, I really wanna be rich or why am I not rich yet, but you don't even know what that means to you, then it's impossible to get there. You need a target, you need a finish line, you need a benchmark. Just by defining it, you bring yourself so much closer to becoming rich. What does that mean? Is it million dollars? Okay. Is rich a hundred thousand dollars? Is rich ten thousand dollars? Okay. So number one reason that people don't become rich is because they never actually define what does that mean to me? All right. Number two is once you have defined a number, that's it's not clear enough. Okay. So I think a lot of times people will say like, I want to be a millionaire or I want to have passive income or something like that, but they don't define by when. They don't define what is actually the goal here. And so the difference between saying I want to be a millionaire and I want to be a millionaire by 30 is a big difference. And so the number two reason that you might not be a millionaire yet is because you actually haven't even defined when do I want to be a millionaire by. And once you've defined that target, once you've defined that finish line, now you can start to pursue it. You can start to break that up, chunk that into smaller goals. So number two, it's not clear enough. The finish line might be picked, but by when? Well, what's the timeline? What's the journey going to look like? Number Number three thing, keeping people from becoming rich is they choose the wrong target. So maybe millionaire by 30, you're like, oh, I want to be a millionaire by 30. And that's what you've been writing down or manifesting or talking about or paid your passwords or something like that. That's usually not the right target. Because if we were to say like, I really want to be rich, what does that mean to you? I would really consider like, if you're like, I want to be rich, what does that mean? You want to spend like a rich person? You want to drive a nice car? You want to be able to eat at restaurants without looking at the price on the menu? Like, what are the things is about being rich that you value or that you think that you value because a target of if you're like hmm okay well to me being rich means i don't look at price tags on the menu uh, i don't look at the price tags of anything and i just can live freely i can travel i can do whatever well then i would say to you trying to be a millionaire is not the right target what you have to understand is that a millionaire is a million dollars net worth i can have one million dollars of assets of real estate houses that produce zero dollars of cash flow per month. And I still at that point would be really worried whenever I look at a menu because I don't actually have money to spend. So if you say, I want to be a millionaire by 30 and that is satisfying the need of like, I want to be rich, right? After you've defined rich as be able to buy stuff without looking at price tags, well, millionaire by 30, it doesn't actually accomplish that for you. Just by that, I hope you're understanding when you say, I want to be rich. And the idea within this example is I want to be able to buy stuff without looking at price tags what you have to put your focus on is how do I bring more money in? And that's why most of the rich, wealthy, whatever people that I talk to, hang out with, get mentored by, they don't focus on a number, right? Like millionaire, billionaire, whatever. What they're focused on is how much money is coming in every month. That's a big shift between rich people and poor people. And I don't say poor in any derogatory way, okay? It's just the difference of, of having money or not is that the richest people I know, it's always a focus of like, what's how much is coming in per month? how much is coming in per week and how much is coming in can be determined by active income like a day-to-day -day job or passive income which is real estate investments or airbnb or you know something like that so number three is just shifting your understanding of okay what is my goal now number four is once you've determined that okay here's what being rich means to me here's my target and i'm going to have a monthly income goal here's how you can break that down okay so number four reason that you're not rich is you might not have clear enough targets targets. So the way that I've been taught to break it down is you have your necessities. That's like level one. You have your necessities. That might be $2,000 a month. So I really encourage like write out how much money am I spending every month? Rent, food, groceries, gas, whatever necessities. Okay. Level two is lifestyle. Lifestyle might be what you're already at, right? You might be 
spending money at a lifestyle level. Now, what I would encourage you to do is write down, well, what's the lifestyle that you would like to live? Would you like to travel more? Would you like to buy more Lululemon? Right, so level one is current necessities. Level two is lifestyle, okay? Level three is dream lifestyle. So when you're thinking about dream lifestyle, that number for me is $20,000 a month. I feel I can go live my dreams fully with $20,000 a month. That is where defining all these, like getting to this fourth step is really important because now you can start to make goals and pursue things that are based around your desires, which we just took care of, right? Number five reason that people don't become rich is because even if they get to this point, even if they get to the point where they are like, okay, you know, I, I would like to make $5,000 a month to be able to travel a little bit and do whatever, okay? And these numbers all go up as you grow older. So once you have a kid, right, your necessity level goes up. Once you have a mortgage, necessity level goes up. And so if really your lifestyle number should also go up, your dream lifestyle should also go up. As you get older and older and older, all these numbers go up, 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 up. So why people aren't getting rich even when they have these goals is because they haven't broken down yet. How do I actually get there? And so what I would do, if, if you are at this step where you're like, okay, my goal to be rich is $10,000 a month. Have you broken down? How are you gonna get that $10,000 a month? Once you break that down, Okay, considering your current job or current field or things that you sell, right? Once you break that down, can you create action steps based on this? If so, you should be able to get there, right? This leads me to number six. And the number six reason that people don't become rich, they don't have an opportunity that allows them to become rich. So if you go through the last step and you're like, okay, I need to break down $10,000 a month and, I'm, and you're trying to break it down, but your job doesn't pay you $10,000 a month, you have to go then find and create other opportunities that can get you that income. So if you're watching this video right now and you're a nurse, right? And you're on this step of the process and you're like, well, my job doesn't pay me my dream lifestyle. That's where you have to start thinking about how else can I make money? And there's unlimited ways to make money. Okay, things like investing in real estate for cash flow purposes like Airbnb and uh, even like long-term rentals as long as the numbers work out, right? Yeah. Are you willing to learn and study different ways to make money and different things to do? Or are you complacent? Are you content with the job that you do? You go do your day job, you come home, you watch Netflix. If you're okay with that lifestyle, stop being sad about not being rich because it's not you're choosing the lifestyle that you have, you're choosing not to learn more. You're choosing not to learn about how to make more money or get into mentorship communities or pay for a life coach or get into a mastermind or whatever. And if you don't understand, well, how do I even get into that kind of stuff? That's this is where you start. You start by watching videos like this. Okay. So is your opportunity capping your income or your pursuit of becoming rich. Number seven reason that people don't become rich is because they don't understand the difference between making money and keeping money. I see salespeople all the time on my team, around me, in my circle. They make a lot of money with a sales job or whatever, and they still are paycheck to paycheck. And this is why they grind, 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 and they never get ahead is because making money and keeping money are two completely different skills you can become wealthy you could become rich with a low paying job if you just have discipline and have good systems around money and know what you're doing and learn how to handle it and all of that because that's a completely different skill so once you've learned how to make money and you have targets and you have benchmarks and you have goals then you have to learn how to keep more money which is a completely different skill set i would love to teach more people the things that i've done or do to keep more money things like spreadsheets or things like using virtual assistants for tracking and things like that but making money keeping money completely different and a lot of people the reason they're not rich is because they don't understand the difference between hey they might have great commission checks every week coming in from their sales job but they're not actually keeping a lot of that money. And so therefore they keep having to grind, 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 grind. And if they lost their sales job, they haven't actually gotten ahead. They haven't saved anything. They haven't, you know, got into investments. They don't have assets. Okay. So it's a different skill set. It's a different knowledge base. Number eight. Okay. Last two. Number eight. The reason that you're not rich yet, or the reason that people don't become rich is because they are not investing in themselves. This could be investing money into themselves. Things like getting into a mastermind group where there's people around you that are making a lot of money and you can learn skills from them or learn opportunity or get opportunity from them. This might be not paying for a coach or a mentor. 
right? Somebody who can pull you up to their level and teach you the things that they've learned over the years and you can accelerate that learning curve, right? You're not, maybe not investing time into yourself. Things like reading books. I'm always reading. This is the book I'm currently reading. And the reason I'm reading this, never split the difference, is because a lot of the things I do in life, I mm. want more leverage. I want more influence, close more people or have persuade more people to do things, not in a pushy way, but like in a way that is a win, win, win. So learning negotiation tips from FBI people, like that's going to help me make more money. So investing not just money into yourself and into your skills, but investing time into your relationships and opportunity and network. And I couldn't be more of a proponent of you should pay for network relationship or skills or mentorship coaching but then you should not only pay for it you should utilize it i see a lot of people pay for like coaching and things and then they don't take action and like that's their loss really but at the same time i still think it's a net gain because i see people pay for college all the time which is the same idea right people that pay 10 to a hundred thousand dollars to go to college it's the same idea you're paying for somebody else's knowledge base that they've learned to accelerate your learning curve to make more money that's the whole premise of college and education. So if you're gonna pay $60,000 to go to Minnesota State Mankato to learn business, why wouldn't you invest $10,000, a fraction of your degree from Mankato or whatever, that's my alma mater, okay? Why wouldn't you pay a fraction of that to go sit in a room at a mastermind event for three days with people who are actually rich? Just something to think about. So the reason people don't become rich, number eight, they're not investing money. They're not investing time into their skill set or their ability to become rich. Last one, number nine, okay? The reason that you might not be rich yet watching this, younger version of myself or whatever, is because you don't actually want to be rich. You, you don't actually want it. You have limiting beliefs around rich people are bad or money doesn't buy happiness or I don't need it, therefore I shouldn't pursue it or it's, it's wrong of me to want these things. This is a younger version of me for sure. You say that being rich would be cool, but you don't actually want to be rich. You don't want to be one of those people. You don't want to be stuck up like that. You don't want to have to sacrifice your, you know, your comfortable lifestyle to, in order to go pursue something. If you really wanted to be rich, you would go move to the city or move away from the hometown or, you know, burn the bridge with the friends that are holding you back. But you don't. You want those friendships more than you want to be rich. You want the comfort of being at home more than you want to be rich. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I need you to hear this. There is nothing wrong with it. There's inherently nothing right or wrong about any way to live life. Okay. But if you're like, oh, you know, I, I wish I was rich or whatever. Stop wishing, start wanting, give yourself permission to want that and then go get that. But oftentimes it's this fear of loss that holds us back from tremendous gain. And the fear of loss is things like, I'm scared to leave behind these relationships that aren't serving me, or I'm scared to start posting content because of what other people will think of me and I don't wanna lose those relationships. That's the part where it's like, you want those relationships more than you want to be rich. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the reality. So the number nine reason people don't become rich, they don't want to. They don't want it, okay? Once you make the decision, you know what, screw it. I, I broke down my goal, I this, I that, you know, all the other steps I just went through. Then you have to give yourself permission to like, it's okay to want this. And that's human. A lot of the books I read, it's like, you have to give yourself permission to want things. It's not about needing, it's about wanting. And that's what moves people forward. That's what moves people up. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it, Alex Funk YouTube. Again, my uh, website will be live soon with some more freebies and things like that. I'm very excited. My book's coming out soon. So thank you for the support. Please subscribe to the channel. Pass this video along if it's helpful. That's how we grow. And then please click the like button. Leave a comment, maybe what resonated the most. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.